Hello viewers, in this video, I shall try to talk about a poem. It is written by Rajendra Bhandari and the title of the poem is Time doesn't, Does Not Pass. Time Doesn't Pass it is written originally in Nepali language, then it was translated in English. The Nepali title of the poem was Samay Bidena. So to understand how he had written in Nepali language, I would like to uh, read few lines from the original poem. Let's begin. Samay Bidena. Tala khet samma pani orlina na sakne bhai baje. Por lathi tek dei angan samma jaanthe yas pali. Sikwa samma matra jaanu na sakne bhai. Tin din samma ochiyana parera baje bite boju bitin. Feri bite gayo ama gai nama pahila bazar bata bitera ghare basne bhain. Pachi angan bata bit bitinara sikwa ma aina. Sikwa bate angan ko chara dhapaune bhain. Aakha bata joti bitiyo. Khatta bata uvine sakti bitiyo. Unka itcha haru bidda na biddai tara ek sanja uni pani bitin. Ek din evti unmanta sundari jiskiyo masita tara masanta pokhari jamirahe usko cheu. Mabata biti rathyo javani masire pahelo pura khet bata bali haru bitera. Unyu bande thiyo, anna haru bite ra malla bani rahe ko thiyo, prithi bhi bite rahe ko chan, vayu mandal bite da bide cha, ojan ojan dulo bitra, birwa bite ra bota bite ra pool bite ra, patkar bite ra bite ra bite ra bite ra. So that's it. This was written in originally like this, and then it was translated into English. Now let's try to know about the poet and then about the poem. So I have already told you that it, it was written by Rajendra Bhandari. Rajendra Bhandari was uh, uh, an Indian Nepali language poet and academic, uh, and he worked in government college in Gangtok. Actually, he was born in uh, Darjeeling in the West Bengal region, and he was born in 1956. And this point was it was uh, translated by Arnold Prasad. And this point it uh, depicts the pain of losing one's family members, one's relatives, and one's uh, near and dear ones. Apart from that, the, uh, through this poem, the poet has also tried to depict the uh, the pain of uh, aging, the pain of uh, unbearable pain and unbearable pain, and indelible moments of uh, losing one's close ones. And through this poem, the uh, poet has also tried to depict that not, nothing lasts forever in this world. Neither human being, nor the natural element, and nor our fear, our desire, and our expectations. So all that thing, the poem, uh, through this poem, the poet has tried to interweave, and he has tried to uh, depict his, uh, that uh, feeling of impermanence in this life by his own fam family members losing. That's it. Uh, let's try to know more a little bit about the poet himself. So he was born in Brahman family of Kalimpong, Dar Darjeeling district, and Bhandari has also lived in Gangtok in 1980s. He is the son of Bhagirath Bhandari, and he was a prominent writer and an astrologer. He received a doctorate in Nepali literature from the University of North Bengal, and Bhandari has also won awards for his poetry, including the 1981 Dialogue Puraskar in Poetry from the Nepali Sahitya Sammelan in Darjeeling, and the 1998 Shiva Kumar Rai Memorial Award from the South Sikkim Sahitya Sammelan, and the 1999 Dr. Sova Kanti. Tehim Memorial Award for Poetry from the Sovakanti Memorial Trust in Gangtok. Okay, now let's begin the poem. Uh, from the title of the poem, I hope you, you have uh, got to know little about the poem, right? So the title of the poem is, it is very uh, significant and it says that time does not pass. And in Nepali, it was titled as Samai Bidena. Time doesn't pass means, uh, you all know, right? Uh, when we lose our near and dear ones due to uh, old age, due to natural uh, call and due to uh, unfortunate tragedy then we often feel that our time is not passing due due to their absence so that thing that the poet has felt in a very deep way as he has seen his all the uh, elders passing day by day due, due to this um, uh, ill health due to the aging and due to this nature's call okay now let's dive in into that point so in the first line the poet uh, is uh, saying that baje has become incapable of going down to the fields Last year, using a stick, he could reach the yard. This time, he only married to the porch. After a three-day confinement, Baje passed away, Boju passed away. So here, uh, the word Baje, it means, if I'm not wrong, Baje means grandfather in Nepali language, and Boju, Boju means grandmother, okay? So uh, he is trying to depict here that his uh, very uh, dear one, his grandfather, Baje, and his grandmother, Boju, uh, they are getting old day by day due to uh, the nature's cycle, right? And so he's saying that, 
Baje or his grandfather, who was once a very hardworking man, one who has uh, done many works in his entire lifetime. But due to now uh, old age or due to this uh, nature's way of uh, life, his Baje or his grand grandfather, he has be become uh, diametrically incapable of going down, going down to the fields, to the fields, to the agriculture field or to the vegetable field. Uh, so here, through this line, the has tried to depict that once his grandfather, his uh, Baje, he had done um, all the works, all the labor in his own field. But now, nowadays, right now, due due to the old age, due due to the aging and many health complications, his grandfather Baje has not been able to going down to his own fields where he has um, uh, spent most of his life moments. Okay, and. Last year, using a stick, he could reach the yard. So here, the poet is trying to say that last year, his Baje or his grandfather, he he was or uh, he could somehow by using a stick, he could reach the yard or he could reach the, the courtyard of um, uh, their home. But this time, right now, due to this ill health or due to this aging health, uh, due to this aging body, his his uh, uh, grandfather is not uh, has not been able to reach the yard itself. Now he is lying in the or on the um, uh, what do you call it bed, right? So that uh, through this line, uh, I hope you you have able to understand uh, how the horror of this um, aging uh, health, right? And this time he only married to the porch. Um, oh, sorry, means last year his grandfather uh, he was by using a stick he could reach the yard somehow. But this time his grandfather or his baje he has only uh, married to the porch. Okay, due to. Uh, health problem or due to aging. And now he's saying that after a three-day confinement, Baje passed away, Boju passed away. So here he's trying to uh, mention that after the three days of solitary confinement, means when you will, <coughs> sorry, when you will get old, okay, then, then what will happen? Then you cannot walk and you cannot roam. Uh, here and there so you have to be in the uh, kind of how house arrest you cannot go anywhere due due to your own uh, health this confinement right or uh, restraints so his uh, grandfather he, he was inside the house for a long time like a three three days he cannot move he cannot go anywhere he wants or pleases so gradually day by day with, with the passage of time his grandfather or his baje he has also passed away which he has also died and later, his uh, grandmother, he, she has also died. She, she has also passed away. So it often happens, right? When you might have seen that when uh, when someone uh, is in love, then they try to be together for the rest of their life. And uh, sometimes they could not, they could not make it. That's a different thing. But most of the time, people often stay to their last breath, last breath together. So uh, here, the uh, the poet might have tried to draw uh, draw that. Uh, Imagery that his grandfather, Baje, and his grandmother, Boju, they might have been together for a long, long time. But as his own grandfather, uh, as uh, Boju's uh, husband, our poet's uh, grandfather, Baje, is no more. That's why, consequently, his uh, own grandmother also maybe not feeling well. And later, uh, her, oh, sorry, his own grandmother also passed away. He, he too died. So it also tries to depict that uh, when you lose someone, then you, that that pain is uh, not uh, explainable. That is a kind of inexplicable pain which we carry forward in our life, right? So that thing also maybe the poet is trying to depict here, right? And uh, in the second line, uh, in the uh, next line, the poet says that then mother began to pass away. So here, uh, the, the poet is trying to say that gra gradually when his uh, first bozu, his grandfather died, then his grandmother died, then now his mother, his own mother who, who has given him birth, uh, she is to literally now about to be died. And after some days and some time, uh, his own mother also began to pass away. Okay, and he's saying that at first she passed from the bazaar to seclusion, then she passed from the yard to the porch. At the porch, she became a scarecrow to the grain drying back in the yard. So here, through this time, the poet is trying to say that his own mother, his mother, when he, uh, she was uh, in his, um, in her youth, in her healthy body, at that time she enjoyed um, her life. She had done whatever she could uh, in her uh, house and uh, to keep her fam family's well-being. But now, as due to um, old age, due, due, due to growing age, now uh, his uh, own mother, he ha she had stopped going to the bazaar and now she, uh, she has uh, sec secluded herself into the room or into the house and now she cannot move wherever she likes or wishes and then she says that then she passed or then he says that then she passed from the yard to the porch. Now uh, day by day as the age is growing then uh, her his mother uh, she passed from the yard then to the porch. Then at the porch she became a scarecrow to the grain drying in the yard. So through this line the poet is trying to say that uh, his mother uh, now as uh, she has grown utterly old so she is now uh, 
sitting on the uh, at the ports now she cannot move to the courtyard and she is uh, sitting like a scarecrow and she was uh, sitting there and she was uh, sitting like a scarecrow to for the grain drying in the yard so in our yard in our village like you might have seen or you might have experienced that we often try to dry some some uh, edible things so just like that in the similarly uh, in the boys house too maybe uh, some of the family mem members of uh, the boys fam family they had uh, tried to uh, keep some uh, grain uh, for the sunlight and they are near near that uh, his own mother he was sitting there she was sitting there and she she became like a scarecrow so so that no no bird uh, could come and no god or no animal or chicken or duck no one would come uh, and uh, eat that thing okay so that kind of thing you might have seen in your home so when people grow grow old so they they have they cannot move they cannot go anywhere so they just see, see like a scarecrow so that the pain of aging old or growing old that thing the boy is trying to uh, mention according to me you you can have your own perspective so please read and do your own research and uh, yeah, the point says that the light passed from her eyes, from her legs, uh, the strength to stain, stand, even her desires were passing, she passed away herself. So in this time, the point is trying to say that uh, day by day, uh, his mother's, that uh, eye power, uh, that eyesight that has to pass away, that has to uh, decrease day by day. And then uh, his mother's legs, that uh, that to become utterly diametrically weak and uh, she was not able to stand um, tall and uh, she had lost her strength to walk and even her desires were passing so here the writer is trying to say that even his mother's own that life for desire that to passing day, day by day so when you grow old then this kind of thing always occurs this kind of thing frequently happens that your desire for life your desire about life that all vanishes because you're, you you are so weak, you cannot think properly, you, you have lost your eyesight, you cannot walk properly, then uh, your desires are uh, useless. That those things are futile, right? So that pain, the writer is trying to say. And day by day, like that, in the same way, one day his mother had to pass away, gone, died. Okay, so this thing, the poet might have observed it very closely and very exhaustively. That's why he's trying to depict this thing that how he is losing his first grandfather and grandmother now his own mother so this pain is unbearable for him but he cannot do he can do nothing he is uh, he is helpless or he is impotent before this nature cycle so that thing the boy is trying to depict then he's saying that one day a wild young thing flooded with me but like a calm lake i pulled by her side youth was passing from me in the yellow autumn in flow fields the peri was passing into hay sticks the green had passed and become a manure so through this line the poet is trying to say that one day uh, a, a wild young uh, thing flooded with me means the poet is trying to say that one day uh, he too uh, 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 fall in love with someone and that uh, that uh, his Beloved might have been in love with him and one day one day they have decided to be uh, together uh, just like a calm lake and, and and from then on from the and they might have decided that they would be get getting married and then they might have got married and in that way the poet is trying to say that his youth also passing from that day nothing was forever I have already told you that and just like that his youth was also passing literally okay as you, as you all know nothing lasts forever and the poet says that in the yellow autumn and now the poet is trying to bring nature's impermanence in this uh, poetic lines that uh, the, as nothing lasts forever in humans life just like that in nature's uh, ele element too we can find these kinds of things for example he's trying to say here that uh, the yellow autumn yellow autumn means here the paddy field when pad paddy field is um, uh, utterly yellow that means it is now uh, fully ripe and then uh, after that, it will not last for a, for a lifetime. So after some time, it will be cut down and it will be uh, taken to the home to eat. And and then when you you will eat, then it will become manure. Okay, the the grain will be, become manure and those patty will become hasty. So he trying to say that nothing lasts forever. This can be seen in our uh, natural uh, ingredient or natural element or factor also. That thing he is trying to project here. Then he says that the world itself is passing every day. The atmosphere is passing into the ozone hole. So now he is. Uh, coming to the universal fact that this whole world, this whole planet, this this uh, our mother earth, this is also passing every day. This is also going towards the death or towards the destruction every day. It is not uh, growing, rather it is decreasing. This is the law of the nature. This is how it works in, in this world. So that thing the poet is trying to say, and he's saying that this atmosphere, it is also passing into the 
ozone hole and to the destruction um, way, right? And he's saying that with the passing of sandling and of, of plant, the passing of flower and that leaves, or passing of leaf and suit, the passing of bird and flower with this passes. So he's trying to now uh, bring many the things from the uh, from our nature, like a flower, like bird, like leaf. These all things are these always it never um, survive for a long time. So it all always ends, it has its own ends, nothing lasts forever, um, before time, so he's just trying to say that time is the most powerful, nothing lasts forever. And at last he's trying to say here that uh, the, the venerable lotus pass from the face of the earth, but time has not passed, time is just not there, time would pass if it all exists. So here the point is uh, trying to um, delineate or limb is the pain of losing one's family member or losing one's near and dear one. So when someone from your own near and dear ones, if he or she passes away from this plant or from your own family or from your own community or, or from your life, then what do you feel? You, you feel like that time is not passing for you. Okay, though time is passing, but for you time is not passing. As if you will feel like all the, the world's things are um, becoming standstill, nothing is moving, you will not feel like that you are living this uh, life. So that kind of uh, pain and trauma and that kind of tragedy only you can feel if you have lost someone here and there. So for the poet, this time has not, the time is not passing for him as he, he has lost so many, his close ones, his dear ones, his loved ones. Okay, And he's uh, saying that time is just not there, time would pass if it all existed. So he's saying that if really time existed, then definitely this time would to pass. So he's saying that if if really there, there is something called time in this planet or in this world, then uh, that time will do, uh, then I, I hope, I think that that time will be passed if it had even existed. Uh, so he is very here sad, he is despondent, and he is uh, not despondent, but he is uh, trying to project that the time is not passing for him due to this all thing. The, as you all know, the life is um, not, means you cannot, um, get out alive from this life you have to live and you you have to depart from this life you can so you, we we don't have to get stressed too much so that all thing maybe that uh, the point is trying to pro project here indirectly or passively that is all my own personal perspective and you can have your own perspective thank you so much for watching the video do your own research have your own perspective and opinion thank you so much bye bye